friends, uh, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorials. Uh, in this uh, video, I'm going to give you brief introduction to performance tuning steps and process. So I'm going to do a uh, series of multiple videos on performance tuning. So when it comes to any cloud data engineering project or cloud data migration project, so how we will fine tune a project end to end process, okay? And uh, what are the steps we will take and uh, uh, first, uh, how we will identify the issues, issues are you can say performance issues, where we, where uh, we are getting exactly performance issues. So normally what we will do, uh, we will divide into three categories because every data migration project into cloud uh, from on-premises to cloud data migration, ingestion is one of the key important thing. So first we will identify the ingestion part are we facing any performance issues on ingestion? Then next we will move on transformation layer where we will be using a PySpark code, a SQL PySpark combination and the transformations, all transformations, data validations, metadata validations, everything we'll be doing in the transformation layer. And the third one is extraction, which is of uh, final tables. Your final tables is going to use for analytics purpose. So when they are extracting data for analytics purpose, that target tables, the target tables are nothing but here, we'll be using a delta tables. We'll be using delta tables. So how we will fine tune, how we will tune your delta tables to improve the query performance for analytics. So the total process, the total process, I'm going to give you individually performance tunings, ingestion level performance tuning, transformation level performance tuning, and target tables, the delta tables performance tuning. So ingestion is very key important thing in any data migration from on-premises to cloud. So how we will fine tune, what are the best approaches, what are the things which we can follow to get a better performance when you're migrating data from on-premises to cloud. That may be historical data migration or incremental data migration. That may be databases or files. And the next one is transformation layer using uh, uh, Databricks notebooks, nothing but uh, the backend is a Spark. You should have an idea about a Spark, then programming, PySpark and SQL. So uh, different uh, kind of things which we will follow here, execution plan, joint strategies, partitioning, cache and uh, memory management. So multiple things are there to understand PySpark level tuning. So once the data is available in Delta tables, maybe metadata validations, data validations, aggregations, whatever you do here, so everything will be in a PySpark. So you should understand Spark and PySpark combination where it is taking more time and uh, how we can fine tune, so how we can understand the execution plan that we will see in upcoming sessions as well as the target tables are delta tables and uh, analytics team will be using the delta tables so delta features so delta features nothing but optimize and geoda so how we will use optimize and geoda to improve the query performance and small files issues indexing so these are things which we will discuss in upcoming session so this is just introduction uh, about uh, when it comes to performance tuning, right? Any interview or any project, when you talk about the performance tuning, it's not a simple thing. So performance tuning, which we need to divide into categories, category-wise, where you are taking, where you are going to work, where you are going to fine tune. Is it ingestion? Is it transformation? Is it extraction? Extraction for analytics. Extraction for analytics purpose. So is delta tables is causing the issue? Is your transformations are causing the issue? Is ingestion is causing the issue? Or is it taking more time? So that is, first we will divide into three parts. This is ingestion, transformation, and extraction for analysis. Then we will fine tune individually. We'll fine tune individually. So that next session, we will understand ingestion part. Ingestion is very key important thing in any data migration project from on-premises to cloud. What are the best approaches which we can follow? And uh, what is the best way to improve the, uh, like best way to transfer the data over the network? Because when you are migrating data from one system to another system over the network, so that we will discuss in ingestion part. 
see you in another video if you're not subscribed please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos